Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another session of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from Duane. He's K04VNX. And he has a hotspot. This is a hotspot right here. Okay, um, this one's made on a Raspberry Pi. Uh, it's got a uh, screen on it. Um, it'll operate. Uh, this is for the uh, antenna for this, so it can operate with a radio. And it's a nice little unit. This particular one comes from Bridgecom Systems. It's called a SkyBridge. Okay, nice little hotspot. I've got a couple other hotspots, I think. And that's uh, a good one. Here's what a hotspot does. If you have a digital radio, whether it be D-Star, DMR, C4FM, uh, P25, and there's a couple other uh, modes, you can communicate your digital radio to this, and it will, instead of you having to go to a repeater to get to the larger system over the internet, this will connect that directly for you. Uh, some people actually go so far as to make their phones hotspots while they go traveling so that they can use these to stay up on their favorite DMR thing. Now the way all of these digital things work, there are, each one has a hundred or so rooms, quote unquote rooms. And what you're doing is when you pick the room you want to talk to, they're called talk groups or rooms or reflectors or whatever they may be. You go into that particular one, which is set via your radio, okay? And then you can talk uh, into that room and it's a big party line. You can talk to a room that's, say, Connecticut, okay? And you can access this from anywhere in the world if you want to talk to a friend in Connecticut and they know to be on in that room or whatever. These can be round tables. They can be very, have a very low population where you can talk to everybody. Sometimes they can have a very large population, like there's a room for the whole United States. Uh, so on, you want to practice your German, go to the German room. Um, there are lots of things available. So the interface between this internet connected system and you is usually your local repeater, okay? Now, each repeater has, well, on DMR has two channels, okay? On the others, it has one. These hotspots will take any of those protocols, DMR, C4, FM, and so on, and connect you to the appropriate internet for that. They are not specific for DMR or something like that. These will work on all of them. Now, to use it, to use it, you need to have a digital radio. Now, that little factoid right there means that if you have an analog radio, this is just a curious little uh, paperweight on your desktop, okay? So you need to get the digital radio. Now, Radioddity, like the GD77, uh, there's quite a bit out there that aren't very expensive that will work fine with these hotspots. Uh, there are some older radios that don't work properly with the hotspots, but all the new ones do. So you need to get a digital radio. Almost all the Chinese radios, digital radios, are DMR. Uh, ICOM makes D-Star radios, Kenwood makes D-Star radios, and Yesu uh, does it with System Fusion. Each vendor claims that their protocol is open and any other vendor can build equipment for it. And none of them do, okay? So we're stuck with these three 
main uh, digital methods uh, to use. Now, there are rooms that you can go into with any of those protocols and it will bridge across the protocol to a protocol that you can use, okay? So that is one way of using them. So, so Duane, I think the, the answer to your question is you've got to have a digital radio, any digital radio, uh, from Yesu, ICOM, Kenwood, or any of the Chinese manufacturers in order to get into the hot spot, okay? An ordinary FM radio will not uh, help you out. Um, so uh, if you are, for example, doing DMR, you go into it, you'll get to talk groups, okay? Um, if you go into it with D-Star, I think that's rooms uh, or something like that, okay? So it can be done. There you have it. Now you know all about hotspots. Uh, they're readily available. For some reason, they cost around $200, which seems to me to be a little expensive at this point. But they're generally made with Raspberry Pi um, on the bottom with a, a little daughter board on top that gives you a, a screen. Uh, you have to set them up. Uh, there's, and a lot of companies like Bridgecom Systems will set it up for you and send it to you um, if, if you get it from Bridgecom. If you're going to get an Anytone system, get it from Bridgecom because they are the people in the U.S. who will provide support for your radio, which other vendors of Anytone will not. There you have it. Please stay tuned for a couple important slides about how to get in touch with me with questions how to uh, contribute to this channel, and a nice long list of the patrons. I really, really appreciate and love my patrons. And also there are some who do the equivalent on PayPal, uh, or they do a one-time tip. Uh, and also, if you are going to make a comment on one of the videos, uh, you can add a couple bucks to that to, to buy a cup of hot chocolate. Okay, so there you have it. Until we next meet, 73.